Today we're looking at the Cadex Vista. This is sometimes referred to as the air unit light and it's made for the DGI FPV digital system. The Cadex Vista has been out since January, so why bother reviewing it now, six months after its release date? The Cadex Vista replaces your DGI FPV air unit. The packaging is very functional. As soon as you open it up, you have a little pull tab and this reveals the Cadex Vista as well as the antenna and the power cable. The antenna is now this uh, smoked gray color. And then here we have the DJI camera. This is the same camera as you find on the uh, air unit itself. Only difference is that the back plate is plastic versus being um, aluminum. Very small, compact in our typical uh, square form factor. We've got our connections down here, solder points only. And what you'll realize is that there is no um, onboard recording, so there is no slot for a SD card. You'll be limited to the recording on your goggles or on your GoPro. So let's see how this compares to the actual uh, air unit. Okay, so here we've got an actual air unit. So we can see that on this version of the Cadex Vista, the camera wire length is almost identical. Size difference, you can definitely see there's quite a, a bit of size difference between these two. So the Cadex Vista, including the antenna, is 32 grams. And here we've got the DJI Air Unit full size, which is 52 grams. So in terms of rough dimensions, we're looking at about 28 millimeters by 29.75 millimeters. In terms of the height, 13.26. Okay. And in terms of the mounting holes, these seem to be you know, 20 millimeter holes for the inside ones, and then the exterior ones seem to be roughly 25 millimeters. We also know it gets quite hot and heat soaks very quickly. You literally want to plug this thing in and fly right away. Uh, when you're updating the firmware, I find it helps to give it some airflow, blow on it, do something to keep it nice and cool. I've been flying my Vista for about a month now, and when I first received it and installed it, I was about to go right back to the air unit after the first flight. There was just something wrong with the video quality. Uh, the signal strength, the megabits, the latency, all those seemed exactly the same as my air unit, but just the video quality didn't, didn't seem right. Um, after some tweaking, uh, it turns out that because this has only the one antenna, the antenna placement is even more important to make sure you've got um, a good signal. After I adjusted the antenna a little bit to make sure I had a nice clear line of sight around the quad and making sure that's not covered by the battery, the quality improved significantly, but I still found that the video quality was not as good as the air unit. So I decided to delve deeper and see what exactly is going on. Here we've got the goggle recording for both the DJI Air Unit and the Cadex Vista. Both are in high quality recording with focus mode on auto.
This is very interesting. As I'm comparing these two videos side by side, it looks like we have more of a color issue or maybe some kind of dynamic range issue. The Cadex Vista, the colors are very yellow. The sky is uh, fairly washed out in comparison to the DJI Air unit. Let's try another video with um, more trees. It looks like a very similar story here as well. On the air unit, the sky is a nice blue color. You can very easily make out the cloud as well. Whereas on the Cadex Vista, the sky is still washed out. So you can't even really make out the clouds in the sky as well. Also, when we look very closely at the tree, you can see that the air unit is a sharper along with uh, showing more details. So what are my final thoughts on the Cadex Vista? I think the Cadex Vista is an amazing feat of engineering. And who would have thought that less than a year after the release of the DJI FTB system, we would see the air unit shrunk down to such small sizes. There's definitely going to be a give and take here between the DJI air unit and the Cadex Vista. So in my view, the pros of the Cadex Vista would be its more typical form factor being smaller, square, and having the 20 by 20 mounting. It's definitely lighter, so roughly 20 grams lighter than the air unit. And it's also slightly cheaper, not by much, but a little bit cheaper. What do you have to give up in order to go to the Cadex Vista? So we know there is no 1080p DVR uh, in the Cadex Vista, so you'll be recording primarily within your goggles. I doubt uh, you would put on a uh, GoPro if you are sacrificing the DVR to begin with for the 20 grams. Also, the Cadex Vista has just a one antenna, and we know that um, there doesn't seem to be any signal quality issues with the one antenna, but there must have been a reason why DJI chose to have two antennas on the air unit. There may be certain situations, certain um, atmospheres where the, the two antennas do help. We also know that the Cadex Vista runs quite hot, which long-term may or may not impact its, life, its lifespan. And finally, the Cadex Vista does not have a connector. You have to hardwire uh, the, the Vista using those solder points. Guys, so it looks like we do have to add the video quality as a con as well, just based on the couple of clips we saw comparing the Air Unit and the Cadex Vista. So ultimately, if you're in a situation where every single gram matters and you're working in a smaller quad, the Vista makes sense. But if you have the space and you've got um, the ability to lift the weight, the DJI Air Unit wins hands down. Cadex provides us with these really nice, beautiful silicon cables. But did they run out of colors? Why are they giving us two cables that are both yellow? Once you install this, you have no clue what these two yellow cables are, are for. Which one's S-Bus? Which one's TX? I don't know. Do you?